The first letter is, uh, I'm a 41-year-old combat veteran from here in Louisiana. I'm writing you to share my story and hopefully we can make a change to laws locally. I served with the 82nd Airborne as an infantry section leader. I was deployed to Quost, Afghanistan in 2005. Conducted over 300 mounted and mounted patrols. Secured the city of Quost for elections. We were actively involved with suppressing Taliban in the area. In 2007, we were deployed to Iraq with a surge. We went up against Makata El Sadr. Mahadi militia. Even though it was a year deployment with some pretty intense firefights, I believe we made a difference. In both deployments, we experienced both triumphant wins and tragic losses. It's an experience that forever changed me. In 2008, I decided to get out of the military and come home. I was very reluctant on going to the VA or reaching out for any help. I figured I could handle it. I couldn't. Eventually, my wife gave me an ultimatum. Either I go to the VA for help or she would leave. Long story short, I found myself at the VA. They service connected me at 90% for PTSD and TBI. I was given a whole laundry list of medications, half of them being highly addictive barbiturate. For years, I took my medicine like I was supposed to, but it always got me like I was just masking the problem. Here in the last few years, medical cannabis in Louisiana has widely been accepted. I decided to give it a shot. I was able to get off of all the medicines the VA prescribes me and actually feel like myself again. Not locked inside anymore, enjoying life with my family and friends. In 2019, I lost one of my best friends to suicide. He was the guy I came up with in the ranks. He did all of our training together and we were even picked as section leaders in the same company. He was also my roommate. It's a really hard time in my life, but being able to talk to some of my family member and friends, I was able to keep moving forward. I also believe that medical cannabis helped me through this. The one thing that keeps me on edge and stresses me out is the fact that any day I could lose my job. I've been working in chemical plants down here in Louisiana since I got out in 2008. We have random drug screens as well as hair tests during our yearly physicals. With it being such a gray area, I'm terrified that one day I will lose my job. It's crazy that people can be prescribed all sorts of opiates and barbiturates just as long as they have a prescription, they are good. I'm able to quit using all of these pharmaceutical drugs and just use medical cannabis, but can lose my job for it. I believe better testing is one of the answers to this problem. 